Hello, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a new product from Condi. It's a 12 by 18 flag, and these flags um, can be used for all sorts of purposes at the house, on a boat, you name it, they uh, come grommeted. Um, so they're, they're really an easy product to fit into many environments. We're going to walk you through how to transfer. The reason I'm doing this transfer is it's sort of a unique and interesting transfer that we've developed here at Condi. We're able to do both sides of this single fly flag um, at the same time by pressing uh, once for a minute 45, 400 degrees. If you'll notice on the back of the flag, it's a mirror image of the front. And so when you print out, um, you'll just simply print again and, and you'll make the other side uh, a mirror of the, the front side. Now, this flag, because it's 12 by 18, it can be done on the Ricoh 7000 using the uh, 13 by 19 paper and a bypass. You could also use the banner paper on your 7000 and print one side and then at the same time print the other side and fold them. That's what I've done over here. So as we begin to do this flag, and these flags are going to be used on uh, on a boat, I think, uh, uh, piloted by Tim Lynn, uh, uh, one of my partners here at Condi Systems. So let's go ahead and, and get started. First is I've got my transfer here, and um, we're going to do a bunch of these things today. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it um, so that it's um, it's lined up precisely with uh, the line. If you'll notice here, I put a line around the transfer, and that's, that's our alignment to it. So we're going to fold this thing, position it so we can do it, and again, we're just trying to get a precise alignment. And I think that looks pretty good there. I'm left-handed, so I got lots of excuses for not doing a good job here. And I'm trying my best to do a good job. And I think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, to keep the transfer where it is right now, we're going to put a heat tape um, at a couple of different parts here that would allow us to insert the flag into it. And so we're going to fold this over here. And this just ensures that our paper doesn't move. Okay. Next, we'll put our flag in. Now, the orientation of the flag, of course, is important. And um, we look here. This will be my guide because I've already done one. Um, the grommets should be on this end. So we're going to turn our flag. And this is a good time to do a quick lint roll of the flag just to ensure there's nothing on here that um, would come back to haunt us. And then we'll slide our flag in here. And what we're after is to put the flag within our border. And we've got a pretty good border and uh, it really comes down to um, uh, what kind of design. If you have got a full bleed design, then um, obviously you just want to make sure you've, you're doing a good job with um, keeping it. So we're looking for alignment as far as fitting it into the border, and we're looking for to for, uh, keep it where it's, it's all straight. The flags are, are never quite perfect. They always have their, their limitations. Now. Um, I've already pre-pressed this flag for shrinkage, so we're, we're ready to put it in the heat press. Okay, we're going to put it in our heat press, and uh, since it's pretty darn big here, you want to ensure that you've you got your uh, entire flag in here. And uh, we'll check alignment one more time. Everything looks good. Um, we've got a cover sheet on the bottom, which is important to pick up moisture. Nothing on the top at this point, and we're going to press. We're going to press for we we'll call it medium to heavy pressure, a uh, minute 45 seconds, 400 degrees. There we go. And we'll, the grommets will be very hot, so be careful. 
And um, our little flag is a little warm here. And uh, you can take a look and really turned out nice. Um, again, for people who maybe didn't pay attention, the trick and the reason this is a, a really interesting advancement sublimation because we're able to do both sides with one pressing. And in the case of single ply flags, it's a mirror image on the back side. Now we've got a great looking flag, single ply, so it, it'll, it'll fly nicely on a, on, a, on a pole. And it was easy to do, as you can tell. And so I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, these flags are available now. So this has been David Gross with Condi Systems. I uh, welcome your feedback at dgross at condi.com. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Till we meet again, thank you.